Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to enable Corona Interactive Renderer and why you should do it. If you want to enable interactive rendering in the viewport, for example, in the front viewport, you can click on front, extend viewport and Corona Interactive. So the interactive renderer is enabled now. Or you can click on this icon, which is a start interactive rendering in Corona frame buffer. And it will open up the frame buffer and start interactive rendering there. And if you stop the rendering, you can hold the click on render button and start IR to enable it again. I usually set up an HDRI and create my materials separately. So I will be able to see the changes on the material in real time. For example, here I want to change the color of the material so I can see the changes live. You can also set up your HDRI using interactive renderer. For example, change the rotation of the HDRI to see how it will affect the scene or maybe even change the HDRI to see the lighting of the scene. If I change the viewport, you can see the interactive render will follow. So in order to lock it on a viewport, you can click this lock icon. So when I click somewhere else, it will not change and I can change the location of my subject so you can see the changes live here. All right, that's it. That's how you can enable interactive renderer. I just showed you my workflow. So it was a workflow tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video and I will see you in the next one.